How's everybody doing? Celsius Vay Mao here. I'm here at Ramana Fitness and I'm here with Macklin, Alex Macklin. What we've done in the last few days was we actually put the uh, ketones into, into, uh, into a little test by utilizing the hydrostatic body fat testing. Now, this is what he's using. So he's been given special instruction on how to eat. And so he's going to tell you what he's doing. So the intention behind what these are called exogenous ketones is that even if you have a regular routine diet, let's say mostly carbs, protein, fats, that your body still will be obviously leaving off of sugar for the most part. However, by taking stuff like this, the claim is that it's supposed to get you into kind of like a nutritional or a ketonic state, ketosis state, within about an hour that lasts for about four to five hours. So the intentionality, at least from what I got from it, and maybe this is, you know, is that I can relatively have maybe 100, 150 carbs a day and because I'm taking this stuff, I will still be able to get into ketosis and still utilize more fat than sugar. And I'm utilizing that with Siasi here in conjunction to essentially lose fat. And that's what we're gonna measure here over the next 30 days of this challenge we're putting together. Good, so the, this is the first week and we've uh, measured him the first, the first week, which is last Wednesday. How much you weigh in? 189.8. 189.8. Yep. And last week he weighed in 191.2 pounds. So now the challenge is to get him on the hydrostatic body fat testing and actually see how much fat he's lost. So the whole concept behind the hydrostatic body fat testing that air keeps you afloat and if you release all the air out of your system, your natural weight then will pull you down and then the fat will then give you that balance. And so that is what we're doing here. Good, come up. So, second time, ready, go. So I've just done his test and last time he weighed in underwater, he was 6,300. And this time around after his first week in the hydrostatic body fat testing, he came up at 5,700. Let's see what that gives us. And that's also working out three times a week. And so our workout mainly is for him, what he wanted to do was basically just get stronger. And here's the results. The results on the first week, you see it, you can see it for yourself. I'm gonna turn it around. So this is what we have. <clears throat> so in reality, what was going on in his body, he's only lost 1.4 pounds in the scale. What actually changed, he'd actually put on 3.4% of fat. And here's the crazy part. What he actually really, really lost, it's seven pounds, 7.55 pounds of lean mass. So the weight that he's actually lost on the first week, it's lean mass. And actually put on 6.5 pounds of fat. In one week? In one week. <laughs> okay, so there is a test where, once again, go back to where he was at the beginning when he he weighed in, the first time he weighed in was 192.2 pounds. Today he weighed in at 189.8 pounds. And when he started, he was at 21.18% of body fat. And today's test, he went up 3.4% where he's at 24.58% body fat. Once again, he lost 7.55 pounds of lean mass, gained 6.15 pounds of fat. And so, Alex, what do you have to say and once again, this is not making anything wrong. What we want to do is we want to really create something that might help him in, in all that he does. And if it works out, it works out. I'm looking forward to see what we can do in the next few weeks. So what are your thoughts as of your first week? Yeah, so I really had no idea what to really notice. What I noticed that my weight throughout the whole week was pretty consistent, about 190, 191-ish. So today I got in here and I was about 189.8ish I think and I was like cool I lost about a pound and a half or so like and I feel good I'm lifting a lot in the gym and I know that I still am eating carbs about 1 to 150 a day so from that I'm like I'm, and my ketone strips have been maybe like small very moderate ketosis levels in terms of my ketone when I'm peeing into a strip that I had in my Facebook post so I wasn't really sure what to look for or what to expect but when I see these results 
that we've measured in like professional equipment, like it's really confounding for me. I'm like, what is going on right now yeah. with my body? And it's it's really confusing and like really, yeah, I'm a guy that likes to be in control and know things. So right now my mind is like just blown. It's 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 crazy. <laughs> yeah. Super crazy. And uh, for me, it's a really awesome opportunity for both of us to actually really take a look at what as what is actually taking place in his body, and to have to make some kind of adjustment in the way that he trains or the way that he's eating, so that way that the his results are more effective. And we want to make sure that he has a transformation in whatever it is that he decides to do in life, and that gives him that kind of freedom, and that knowledge would give him that freedom that he can then move on and apply it in his daily activity.